What's up, everybody? Sitting here, welcome back to yet another reaction. Today, we are hopping into Supernatural episode number three of season number six called The Third Man. Hopefully, you've been enjoying the series. If you have, like, comment, subscribe to the channel, Patreon for the full uncut, unedited reaction. Episodes extra early over there if you want them. If you don't want them, totally cool. Episodes here whenever they show up. So, uh, last episode um, was where we found out about the alphas, right? Yeah, the alpha shapeshifters. Which is a new thing. Um, some of you guys uh, said in the comment section that what Dean was doing and leaving, and his girlfriend being okay with it, you guys, you guys kind of compared it to um, going to the army, and said when a wife tells, like lets their soldier husband go, um, and that's how you guys interpreted that scene. I guess that kind of makes sense a little bit. I guess. But I guess I don't know. I don't. I don't know. It'd be. It's like when I guess it's more aligned to the oh, when a soldier doesn't have to go back to the army but chooses to go back to the army. That does that go over well with people? Like with their wives, the husbands? Oh, my my tour is over and I don't have to go back, sweetie, but I'm going back. That's what that felt like to me. If we're gonna compare it to that. Uh, but yeah, and then you guys said that Dean shouldn't have left in the previous episode because I'm in that first episode because he would have came off as an asshole, but I still think he does come off as an asshole because he is leaving. To me, I don't take it that because she said for him to go, that makes him less of an asshole. He was still, he would still be equally an asshole because he wasn't going to be there and be himself anyway. He was going to be the person he was that she didn't like. So, I don't know. We'll see where that goes. Um, they killed that one blonde dude right away, which I was just like, that was random. They killed you mega easy. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Um, yeah, that was a right. third thing that we had, right? Let me see. Make sure. You know, anything else major? Um, yeah, so that's where we're at. Let's hop in here. Let's have a good time. Like, comment, subscribe. Here we go. This is called the third man. So, I don't know what that could possibly be. Oh, no, bro. What's happening? Oh, Jesus. No, no, no. Oh, my God. There. Sam needs to pay for escorts. I like to work. Apparently. Glad we hashed that out. Call me when you're rolling to town. I'm still stuck on Sam paid a hooker. Dad made Wait, what? God. Professionally, that's how. I tell your mom that you broke the damn thing and take it like a man. Okay? Okay, okay. <laughs> wow. What? You. Molding the minds of tomorrow. I mean, <laughs> were you, uh... <laughs> were you racing me? <laughs> no. <laughs> Give your ass. Very much. Oh. Hello! He must Officer be traumatized, Colfax. dude. Oh, looking sure. Don't worry about it. It's nobody's business. Officer Colfax. Don't worry about it. Not happening now. Dude. Oh, shit. Christopher Birch is a kid with no face. What does that a mean? A planted gun. Oh, bro. What's up with your hat? You, uh, Get a little something. That noise. You hear that? Oh. Come on, Cass. Don't be a dick. <laughs> Got ourselves a plague like situation. 
Why did you not answer Hello. Sam? A year, bro? Hello? Be so mad? Dean and I do share a more profound bond. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna mention that. Guys, I think what he's trying to say is that he went to hell for us. I mean, he really took one for the team. You remember, like a river into blood, not one dude. The weapon isn't being used no. to full capacity. I think we can rule Moses out as a suspect. <laughs> okay, but what is what is Chuck Heston's disco stick doing down here anyway? A number of powerful weapons were. Stolen. Uh, Wait, oh, what? You saying your number? Are loose? Yeah, I'm afraid so. But you've stumbled onto one of them. Thanks. We must find the weapon that did. I you smote them with the staff of Moses. What? But how kind of fat are you? <laughs> you don't have time for this. Okay. Where is it? Leave my dad alone. Oh my God! It's the fuck. What? How did you? Yes. yes. Should oh. Bigger. Yes, it's been sawed off leave him alone it wasn't him Aaron, get out of here i'm not here to hurt you okay but we need to know where's the rest where of did you it? get this thing please don't kill my dad it was me i did it i bought it what did you give him you bought it <laughs> oh no 10 years what? so what's your allowance what did the angel want for it what did you give him for it 10 years my soul Oh fuck the ten, ten year thing. The fucking hellhounds. Ah oh, shit. You sold your soul to an angel. Can that even happen? It's never happened before. An angel's buying soul yeah. after kid. If the angel we seek truly bought this boy's soul, when a claim is laid on a living soul, it leaves a mark, a brand. Mm -hmm. Like a, a shirt tag at camp. Oh. Okay. Oh. Well, painfully for him. The reading will be excruciating. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what? Hold on. Dean, he's a kid, Cass. A kid. Sam. He's a. He's like 12, bro. Any permanent damage? What? Physically minimal. Oh, well, yeah, then by all means, I'll stick your arm right in there. Dean, if I get the name, I can work a ritual to track the angel down. And I'm all for that, but come on. There's got to be another way. What is this? By the way, Raphael says hello. Uh, who is random, dude? Oh my god, he disappeared. Who was that? Was that Balthazar? Was that? All right, Cass. Who was that guy? A soldier of Raphael. He must have followed me when I answered your call. Raphael. What <laughs> is second? Don't start that. It is simple. <laughs> Raphael and his followers, they want him to rule heaven. I and many others, the last thing we want is to let him take over. Mm -hmm. It would be catastrophic. Okay. You're talking civil war. Oh, Raphael? That's my cue then. Tell uh, Raphael. To blind me. <laughs> okay, who's Raphael? I'm curious. Hey, it's, it's just Raphael's minions. Watch them. They're all snakes. Of course. Hey there. <laughs> you yeah, think you can knife fight an angel? Who's fighting? Peace out, douchewad. Nice. You're making a mistake. Please, there is another way. Brother, please, I don't want to hurt you. But I will. Damn, I thought he 
Rafael, because he's getting ass. I don't think God will be bringing you back this time. Hey! Look at my junk. No. I'm guessing that's not Raphael because he just died. Same thing happened to Lot's wife. Oh shit! Holy fire, you hairless ape! Release me! First, you're taking your marker off of Aaron Birch's soul. Am I, Sam? Unless you like your wings extra crispy. I think about it. Castiel, my dear, what souls are worth? What power they hold. Why would angels want those? I thought demons are in the sand, I guess. No. Release me. Suck it, ass clown. Nobody said anything. Oh. Shit. Guess what the hell? My debt to you is cleared. Oh, because you Fair saved enough. me. Okay, I respect that. Oh, shit. And Cass left through. What the fuck? Cass? Hmm. Freaking angels, come on! <laughs> Interesting. Yes, I didn't realize I had this much stuff back here. Well, I need some space. Kind of picked up here. Damn. You're wrong. Sounds up. Sounds wrong with him. Man, I'm just trying to figure this out because something's different with you. You know that. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know what that does to a guy. To you. What? You know what it does to you. It, it tortured you. It does, it's not bothering you, bro? I think it still does. It's not it's bothering? Theme. I'm okay. Was Sam tor Was Sam tortured down there? See, like, I'm confused too. Dean, I'm with you, bro. I don't understand what's happening. Like, you saw some shit. Did Sam see some shit? All right, well, that was episode number three of season number six. Eh, I don't know. I kind of want to give this one like a very low eight, high seven range. Uh, we've set up some interesting ideas of what's going to happen for this season. Uh, the beginning was very what the fuck with the the melting of the guy and then the the boils and the and um and the locusts. Very interesting. And then when we find out what it was, that it was some corrupt cops and shit like that. Very interesting. Um, yeah, no, I think, I think this episode did enough to give it an eight. Because then we hop into the whole Raphael thing. Raphael wants to bring back the war. Okay. All right, interesting. Or the apocalypse, which is causing a civil war in, um, in, in heaven. Because people don't want that to happen, but Raphael does. Raphael has all these minions, and we saw the the one guy that was playing Raphael, or we saw Raphael, and then he he uh, got taken out by Balthazar, whatever his name was. Um, I don't know. I thought it was a pretty solid episode. Sam's whole situation is interesting now because, like, I'm like Dean. I'm like, nah, bro. Like, something is off with you. You watched them torture that guy, that kid, and then you didn't. You were all for it, and he said it's because we needed the intel. I don't know. I'm very curious about that. So let's break it down. We'll go through it. Um, we start at the beginning and it's just nasty. Kind of go through that. All kinds of nasty. Uh, Dean's having um, nightmares or dreams about uh, oh, his his um, girlfriend. Actually, was that a nightmare? Actually, it wasn't a nightmare. It was him just dreaming about her and then waking up here. Sam paid an escort? A hooker? That's first off, it's weird because it's Sam doing that, but it's also weird because why would Sam need to do that? Like, is, is it because there's no work involved? He just pays her, she has to do stuff, I guess. That's interesting. And then that's the whole thing with him working out is like almost like the, the show was like, well, you know, you got in great shape, we got to show your body off for the ladies. <laughs> um. We have uh, Sam D making his way to Sam. They have a detour. We're going here. The boil thing happened to this guy. Uh, 
We then go to the thing. We look at the body. We then go to the third cop. Dean doesn't like Sam's car for some reason. I think it's a cool car. We then meet the one cop, and he's fucking losing his mind, and then the whole no face, no face thing. And the locust, oh, God, that was just nasty. He's been scratching his head, and then locusts come out, and, oh, okay. Uh, then we find out Sam's been trying to talk to, uh, Dean doesn't know what to do. Who's that? Let's call Cass. We'll, we'll call Cass. We'll ask him what the hell's going on, and he'll tell us. Problem is, Cass hasn't been answering his call, our calls, or Sam's calls. And then as soon as Dean prays, bam, Cass is here, and then Sam's upset. He says, he says that him and Dean have a bigger bond, all this stuff. Um, what do we, and we find out that the weapons, so this is what the season's going to be about, right? Because the weapons from heaven have been stolen or have been taken and are, given, are, given, are being given to people. So this time it's like the staff of Moses or whatever they call it. I like when Cass was using the air quotes incorrectly. We then find out, oh shit, these cops killed a black kid, shot him in the face, then planted a gun on him. Bam. Which is... Fucked up as hell and all kinds of stuff that I can go into that, but we'll leave that at that. The show then goes to the father. They think the father's the person doing it. It turns out it's the son. The son was given the staff uh, or a piece of the stick of the um, staff by an angel. We then do the whole scene where we take him, we kidnap him, and we got to do this thing. We have to torture the kid, which is all kinds of messed up here. Dean's not for it. Dean doesn't want it to happen. Sam's like, okay, cool. Sam doesn't care. Uh, we then get, I guess, one of the soldiers of Raphael shows up. There's a fight. They break Sam's car, which kind of sucks. Then we get... Dean wants the kid to get transferred back. Instead, they leave the kid there. How does that get explained? Like, why are the cops coming anyway? I don't get it. The cops are going to come now. And what? Somebody called the cops because they went out the window and then the kid's going to be in the room where the thing happened and what's going to happen there? I don't know. Um, we then get transported to uh, Balfazar, whatever his name is. He killed one of the soldiers from Raphael. We then find out what he's doing. He's like all about let's just freedom. Let's do whatever the fuck we want. Let's just do everything. Uh, Raphael's people come in. There's a fight happening. Um, and then I like when we killed that one guy, the wall thing. Um, one dude shows up, he does this little rock, uh, he does this little rock thing that turns Raphael into stone. We trap him. Dean says, give the kid back his soul. He does it. And then we have the whole thing where Cass lets him out cause you know, our, your debt is paid. You, you, you know, scratch my back. I scratch yours. Then we have the conversation here with Dean, where or with Sam and Dean, where Dean's like, "Are you okay? Sounds up with you." And Dean, Sam's like, "No, I'm fine." But then Dean's saying, "You went to hell. I went to hell. I saw some shit. You won't tell me what you saw." But then Sam's comes off like, "Well, we're wired differently," which does comes off come off like Dean, like what Dean said about, "What you're stronger than me. You're like better than me." I agree with that. Like, what? What are you trying to say? That I couldn't handle what we, what we saw? Which doesn't make any sense because if we know Sam, old Sam, Sam was able to handle what he saw and not let it affect him? I don't know. So it ends up with uh, Sam and Grandpa, their whole situation. But that's how the episode... So this is like next time. Uh, I guess that's... Uh, so that's the episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Picture for the full reaction. Uncut episodes over there if you want them. If you don't, totally cool. Episodes here whenever they show up, but I'm going to get out of here and I'll talk to you guys later.